got a quick question um, about how can you uh, stay motivated and focused and um, things, some tips to help you uh, prevent uh, skipping workouts or uh, cutting workouts short. Now, it can be very, very difficult for people to continuously uh, work out. And I understand that, that families and, and friends and uh, stuff along that lines will, will over time, um, prevent you from uh, working out. I mean, we can't work out all the time. I mean, there's going to be uh, some times where we, we have to skip workouts. But for the majority, I don't really have a problem with, uh, with this in my workout training. I just get in there and get it done. And my first big tip I'm going to give is uh, have a workout plan. Now, a workout plan, you've got to know, when you go into the gym, you've got to know what you're doing. If you go into the gym and you're just doing willy-nilly stuff, you, you're doing a few bicep curls, then you do a few standing ones and you do a couple of preacher curls or you, you don't you don't actually know what the hell you're doing you just go and you do a few few sets of each exercise and then just go you don't have a clue what you whether you're gonna make any gains um, or, or anything and uh, the motivation um, will, will, in, will increase if you if you're seeing results and if you if you're not following a good structured plan set out your goals write them down uh, check your measurements to make sure you're making progress. You, then you're going to want to get back in that gym because you're going to see the results that you're getting, and um, you're going to be happy and you're going to want to want to continue. Um, now, uh, secondly, is uh, getting is um, overreaching and burning burning out, doing going to the gym and doing too much. Now that that is a, a really big reason why a lot of people um, end up skipping the gym because they're doing too much, they're going too hard at it, uh, too intense. And uh, they're, they're um, skipping it. So if you're having this problem, uh, cut your workouts down because uh, more is not always always enough. Um, it's, it's sometimes better to do three days a week than four days a week if you're if if you're burning yourself out because in the long term you're going to end up not doing any at all. Um, now the the next the next big tip is to uh, is to uh, structure your program so that you you're doing um, the, the big sort of compound lifts, sort of back and uh, legs on, on rest days from, I'm talking of rest days as in um, rest days from work and uh, stuff like that where you've not got a busy schedule where you can put more focus and time into it and you've got more energy to, to do these lifts. You're more likely to do these lifts then. Save the more isolation movements for the times when you've got less, less time to do because they're less taxing on the body and you're more likely to do them then, rather than if you supposing you've got a 12-hour shift at work, you might not want to come home and do a uh, do uh, 10 sets of squats, seven sets of leg press, and five sets of calves, and then do hamstrings. You probably won't want to do that, but you're more likely to do that at the weekend uh, when you're uh, refreshed and uh, re recuperated from um, from not uh, having work. Uh, if if obviously you're um, you're working, uh, working at the weekends, and then uh, change it up and do it during the week. Uh, my next thing is, um, if you're having problems uh, get getting into the gym and that um, after work and that, make sure you go straight after work uh, into your workout almost, if you if possible. Uh, that is where a lot of people do um, end up um, skipping their workouts or cutting them short. Um, that that's why I used to do when I was doing a 12-hour shift in my previous job. Um, pretty much every day because I was getting up at 5 a.m. and I wasn't getting home till till sort of uh, half seven, eight o'clock at night with traveling and everything. And I just used to get the workout done straight away, so then I could sit on the couch or sit at the computer afterwards. Otherwise, otherwise, um, I, I used to sit at the um, the computer for half an hour and think, oh, I'll go out, I'll go and do my workout in a minute, and then then 10 minutes would pass, 20 minutes would pass. And then in the end, you've got less time to, to do the workout. Anyway, I hope these uh, few tips have helped. Uh, just just try to um, to in incorporate them um, in your routine. And uh, hopefully uh, you will uh, uh, rece receive some um, good benefits from it. Anyway, uh, till next time, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll uh, talk to you all again soon.